Israel shifts to standoff weapons in Syria as Russian threats increase. The change comes as Russia says it has stopped using a deconfliction line with Israel. Defense sources say the Israeli military is planning to change its tactics in Syria to revolve around long-range standoff munitions as opposed to airstrikes, following a new Russian policy to use its higher-end air defense systems capable of shooting down Israeli jets over Syrian airspace. The change follows an announcement late last week by Rear Admiral Vadim Kulit, the head of the Russian Military Reconciliation Center in Syria, who said in a TV interview that the Russian forces assisted the Syrians in intercepting four missiles launched by Israeli F-16S, the first time Russian assistance was given to counter Israeli military operations. Kulit said a Russian buk Tumi, known in NATO circles as the SA-17 Grizzly, was used, the system is a medium-range advanced defense missile complex designed and manufactured by Almazanti, primarily for the Russian army. That system, which is operated directly by the Russian military, had not previously been used against Israeli assets, while the Syrians operate older anti-aircraft weapons, they have not been particularly successful in the past. Israeli sources confirmed that the BUK-2 Mi was used for the first time against Israeli missiles, raising fears that Israeli pilots could be targeted as well. As a result, military leadership here is planning to shift operations almost entirely to long-range strike weapons. Israel's military does not comment on reports of specific strikes in Syria, but according to foreign media, there have been hundreds of strikes against Iran-linked military targets in Syria over the years. Jerusalem fears Iranian entrenchment on its northern frontier, and it has repeatedly struck Iran-linked facilities and weapons convoys destined for Hezbollah. Israel has used standoff weapons in the past, but the majority of the attacks have been performed by weapon systems flown in close to targets. Compounding the situation is a change in the relationship between Russia and Israel. For the majority of the conflict in Syria, Israel and Russia have maintained a hotline that allowed the Israeli military to alert Russian forces of incoming strikes, which were aimed at Syrian forces backed by Moscow. Generally, sources say, Russia was given two to three minutes of warning before an attack in order to remove their personnel in the area, and in some cases missions were aborted over fears of striking Russian forces.